What's going on everybody? It's your boy directed by Diego and I'm super excited to share my brand new glue effect that I've created for Final Cut Pro. It's extremely easy to use and I'm going to show you guys how to make the most of it. You can purchase the effect in the description down below. The link is there. And once you got the effect installed, let's dive right into the tutorial. Bless up your blood clot. <laughs> The thing about this glow effect is you can do it on anything pretty much you can do it on a person you can do it on an object all kinds of objects you can do it on cars so we have our clip right here that we want to place the glow effect on we're going to select it press command c on your mac keyboard to copy press command v on your mac keyboard again to paste drag this layer above we're going to right click on it click rename layer and we're going to name it glow then we're going to press command plus sign on our keyboard to zoom in we're going to go to the very first frame of our glow layer, make sure it's selected, and we're going to go ahead and click the magnetic mask tool. This tool is absolutely unreal, guys. With a click of a button, you can literally just select everything. I literally just clicked it once and it selected all this. I could literally do it like that, but we'll be more specific in this case and we'll just select the watch. See, with a few clicks, boom, it selected the watch. I see a little imperfection here. That's not a problem. We'll go to our minus tool right here and we're going to adjust the size of our brush and we're just going to cut this out right here boom perfect so now i'm going to go to the top and click analyze and as you can see it analyzes the watch in one click it's absolutely unreal guys this is crazy so now what i want to do is grab any random clip if you watch my tutorials you'll understand why i have this clip pretty funny but we'll just grab this random clip for example and we'll drag it under our layer and we're just going to see how our layer masked out perfect that looks good to me you can always adjust the feather as well so if i raise the feather you can see it does all that but this is perfect for me so now let's go ahead and delete this middle layer we don't need it anymore the sole purpose of this layer was literally just to see how our mask came out so now under our effects tab right here you're going to click this icon right here to show the effects browser and we're going to go down to director diego glow you can invest in my plugin by clicking the link down below where you can then purchase the effect so we're going to play with the settings here there's a bunch of different settings that makes it look the way it does i want to raise the exposure here and the intensity a little bit just so i can see the glow better now i'm going to adjust this here glow size a little bit bigger can also adjust the streaks i don't want it to look like this obviously this looks bad but i'm going to drag the softness all the way to 100 percent and we have our glow amount as well cool that's sick that looks dope that's really cool guys yeah that's dope guys if you raise the intensity you can get results like that so i like the way this is looking guys i would also like to mention that you can adjust the tint as well now the way that i color graded the scene has this kind of orange and teal greenish tint to it so i like the color here because it's that light lime green which matches but you can always go to the tint section right here drag it all the way to the top or even in the middle however you'd like and then you can play with the tint color whether you want it to be orange you can drag this down here as well so it's not as bright you want it more like that and you can change it to any color you want guys but just to match with this color grading i like this green here that's dope it's really that easy guys you just drag and drop adjust the settings and there's your glow plugin for final cut pro for years i've struggled to find a good glow plugin for final cut pro such as deep glow vr glow and the glow built in in after effects but i provided a solution for us final cut pro editors that have been waiting for a good glow plugin here it is guys i got you and just another quick tip as well you can always go to the beginning of your clip you can bring your exposure down or you can have the glow set up how you'd like and then for example let's go to a part where he kind of moves his wrist here we can bring the intensity all the way down keyframe it press play go as many frames up as you'd want and then bring up the intensity right so you can even have it like that and then like maybe here we can make another keyframe and then just kind of drag it down a little bit and then what do you get crazy i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you on the next one